Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Hi, how are you tonight? Good evening. Good, how are you? I'm okay. Uh, did you go to work today? No, I'm going tomorrow. Oh yeah, um, it's your day off today, isn't it? Yeah. Mm, I see. And how is everything? Where do you live? Um, San Luis Talpa. Uh, so it's, uh, yeah, it's not far from the airport at all. It's, it's like right there. No, it's 10 minutes away by driving. Yeah, yeah. It's like 15 minutes, I was told. Jenny, can yeah. you hear us? Yeah, she was having internet issues last night, so she probably is tonight as well. Okay. Damn, I'm always so boring. The what? I'm sorry. Diana, home is so boring. <laughs> Tell me. This is like my yeah. sixth day I'm, here I'm, or seventh. Oh my goodness. I've been home. I've been home almost <laughs> a week. All week long? Are you serious? I like. I got. I got. I got out from work last Wednesday, and I going back Wednesday. Oh yeah, <laughs> and you haven't go to the <laughs> store nor the supermarket, nothing? At the supermarket, I went yesterday to buy some vegetables. Ah, you see, you went out, that counts, <laughs> that counts. Yeah, it's not the it's, same. It's, it's something. Yeah, for me, it's been a week too, eh, except the day I went to buy something. This, this is terrible, right? Did you ever imagine something yes. like this was gonna happen? No, never imagined that. I never crossed my mind either. Never in a million years, huh? But you know what? The good thing is we have internet. Yes, good thing. Yeah, can you imagine what if what didn't? Jenny, can you hear us? Hey, Roberto, you probably know some people. I know two people who, or like two or three who work who live in San Luis Talpa and some people that work in the airport. Really? What part of the airport do you work with? A customer service. Aeroman or what, what is it? Uh, no, I'm with SEPA. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a different thing. No, you don't know them then. We probably have neighbors, I know, but yeah, it's all right. Jenny says she cannot hear us. Where did she say that? She sent me a private message. Mm. She's my coworker. Oh, really? Yeah. No, tell her I think it's her internet. Or she should double I check thought the audio. Like maybe it was like the microphone. Yeah, it could be that. Yeah, she can double check, but sometimes mm, people have issues with the audio because of the internet. That's happened too. All right, let's get started. Um, yeah, tell her to check the microphone, the computer, all of that. See what's going on. Yeah, because yesterday she was perfectly fine. What, the internet? Yeah, she was active yesterday. She was able to access. Oh, now it says connected to the audio. And it says it's incorrect. It didn't work. JC, JC. <laughs> he even has his own voice tone <laughs> to say it. Is to call him by his name. Hey, I was talking to JC today and he knows a lot of people. We have like a lot of people in common that we know. Really? <laughs> yeah, because a lot of his- Those people, those people co-workers. that you said that live here, I maybe know them. Ah, uh, yeah, you probably do. You see, El Salvador is so small. 
All right, last night we were working on this. We just listened to it actually, so we're gonna listen to it one more time and practice it. JC, can you hear us? Yes. All right, awesome. Good night. Good evening. Don't say goodbye to me yet. Sorry. Good night, bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> Don't leave yet. Don't. Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Hello and welcome back. We're about to listen to different tenses in a single conversation. Pay attention and try to identify the tenses they are using. This neighborhood has changed. Part A. Listen and practice. This neighborhood sure has changed. I know. A few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast these days. Yeah, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Remember how we used to buy candy at that little grocery store? Now it's a multiplex cinema. Yeah, and they're tearing down our high school. They're going to build a shopping mall. Soon there will be just malls and parking lots. That's because everyone has a car. Fifty years ago, People walked everywhere. Nowadays, they drive. Listen to the rest of the conversation. What else has changed in their neighborhood? Okay, pay attention to this part so you can answer, right? What else has changed? Okay. Well, what about that old bookstore? Do you know if it's still there? No, it's not. Now it's a pizzeria. Really? Let's go check it out. All this talk about change is making me hungry. Did you get the tent? What's the new Let's tent? Let's go check it out. The bookstore is now a pizzeria. All right. That's the one. Very good. Uh, let's practice the conversation. Can you see, guys? Because I feel like the quality is really bad. Yeah. yeah. Can you see? Yes. No, I can barely see. Let me put my glasses on. <laughs> You're gonna need that because it's gonna it looks even more blurry than usual. I don't like wearing glasses, that's why I don't wear them all the time. Okay. Hey JC, can you see? Yes. Uh a little bit difficult, but uh I see. Yeah, it is. Let me see. Hold on. I'm going to do something to make it bigger. I'm going to copy paste it here. No, hey, welcome. I was wondering where you were. Where's no A at? I said. What happened with them? Because you've been in class every day since we started this module, I think. So, yeah. Congrats, by the way. And then, JC, yeah, this has you. been to many classes. Jenny's trying. Okay, maybe if I do this. Now. Oh, she can? All right, awesome. We're going to practice this then. Yeah. Hold on. And then copy. Copy. And I think if I do this. Probably even going to be the wars. We don't know. All right, Luke. It will be the same. No, 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 Luke. It's, it's even worse. <laughs> Actually, but... Can you I see can better? See yeah. Is this better, JC? More or less. I can understand it. Right, okay, and let's try, if I find something better, I'll send it to you, but let's practice it. Jenny, can you hear us? Yes, teacher, hi. Hi, welcome. Thanks. So welcome what we're going to do, is, what we're going to do is, uh, one person will be A, Tanya, the other person will be Matt, all right, 
and then try to modify a little bit from it. So talk about different changes instead of the same ones that are here. But do it quickly, all right? This you don't need to has changed take that long. In pairs. So accept the invitation, please. Let's practice quickly. If you want to take a screenshot, all right, or something. And I'm gonna send it to WhatsApp anyway. Ready? Yes. Yes, okay, great. It's good picture. Yay. I know I found a better one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I start. This neighborhood sure has changed. Change it. Changed. Changed. It's like a T at the end. Changed. Changed. Mm -hmm. Okay, I know a few years ago, not many people lived here, but the population is growing so fast this day. Yeah, it's a, it seems like there's a construction site on, on every corner. Remember how we... Carita. Yes, <laughs> Janine, can I see you? <laughs> <laughs> Don't hide from me. <sighs> She's hiding something. <laughs> there you are. All right, now you can turn it off if you'd like. It's okay. I don't want you to be uncomfortable. Are you practicing? We just read it. Uh, have you modified it? Uh, no, we didn't. Right, try to change some details. The one that is highlight or yeah. the one that we can't? No, the ones that you can, like instead of saying the population, la la la, mm -hmm. say something different, but improvise it. Okay. So, Jenny, you go first. Okay, <clears throat> then this neighborhood sure has changed. I know a few weeks ago, not many people go outside. Mm -hmm. Now we can go outside of this coronavirus thing. Because ah. of it's changed. Oh. oh, because of, of the coronavirus. Yeah, it's like a dangerous. You go out. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how we used to go outside with no problems and now we can because we're going to jail if we go outside. Yeah. Okay, that's kind of sad. On top of that, she got disconnected, I think. Really? Yeah. Oh, oh my okay. God. <laughs> <laughs> Text her and see what happened. All right. We're going to go back. Yeah. Let's see if you guys finish too. Oh, 
Hold on. What's going on? Forty. Okay, I'm trapped. Here we are. Jenny says her internet let her off. I imagine so. Okay. Uh, did you finish practicing, Lauren, JC? Yes. Yep. Yes, teacher. All right, awesome. Now we're going to be contrasting all three of them, and I wanted to ask you if you had identified them. So, for example, here. All right. Where can you see present perfect? in this dialogue. Say that again. Where can you see the present perfect tense in this dialogue? Mm, has changed. Has changed, exactly. That's one of them. Um, what else? Um, That's it. Mm, that's it. All right, we're gonna watch the video first and then we can identify it, okay? Hold on. Okay. So here, here is what I want you to see, like the past, present, and future, okay? That's what we have to identify. A sentence in the past, present, and future. Take a look. So what sentences are, are in the past? Okay. Which sentences are in the past? Well, the first sentence is in the past. Uh, I don't know. It's present perfect, so... Mm. Well, the second, the second when Matt, Matt said a few years ago, not many people live here. Yes, that is past. Present, any sentences in the present, guys? It can be present, present continuous, anything. The other sentences, it seems like there's a construction site on every corner. Uh huh, that is present. All right, future. You're going to be the shopping mall soon. Uh huh, okay. Yeah, very good. We have more, but that works. Okay, uh, read the objective, please. JC. Hold on. Can I get there? Lesson objective. Mm -hmm. At the end of this class, you will be able to describe events using time contrast between the past, present, and future. Good. All right, let's watch. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Before you watch our video, we want you to write on our discussion box expressions that you already know which are used in the past, present, and future. Time contrasts. Past. A few years ago, not many people lived here. Present. These days, the population is growing so fast. Future. Soon, there will be a lot of shopping malls. People used to shop at grocery stores. Today, people shop at supermarkets. In 20 years, people might buy groceries by computer. 50 years ago, people walked everywhere. Nowadays, people drive their cars instead. In the future, people are going to use cars even more.
We noticed you wrote some time expressions related to past, present, and future. Well done. Now let's talk a bit about time contrast. This helps us to talk about perhaps a same situation that we have lived over the years and we want to make reference since it happened, taking it to our present and imagining it in a future. The trick here is for us to use the verbs properly in its right tense along with time expressions. Let's go over the chart. In the first column we talk about past and we use time expressions like a few years ago or people used to or 15 years ago and our verbs are in past. We used lived and walked. Let's move on to the present and here we use these days, today or nowadays and of course our verbs are is growing, shop and drive which are in the present. Last but not least we have our future using expressions such as soon, in 20 years, in the future. Therefore we use verbs in future, will be, might buy, are going to use. Time contrast is easy to use, just double check on your verbs. Think about it as one sentence per tense. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. At that time, in the past, then. Present expressions. Currently, in the meantime, now. Future expressions. In the next couple of years next in the near future. Now we want you to write a short description about how has your life changed using the expressions below. Make sure you do it and present it to your teacher to make sure you did it right. We will now give you more time expressions that you may use with each tense. Past expressions. Okay, well done. 50 years ago are there any questions? No, teacher. No, it's no. all clear? All right. Yeah. Um, so let's do some, let's discuss a little bit with it. Time with this. Let's make a sentence quickly, okay? Roberto, with the first one. As a child, I used to walk to school every day. Seriously? Or is it only an example? As a child, I used to walk to school every day. Okay, very good. JC, something real, guys. So I know something real about you. <laughs> Five years ago, I really mean that. I thought so. Uh, huh, JC? Five years ago, I work at Soyapango City. In Soyapango. In Soyapango City. I knew City. you were going to say that. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> you are a psycho. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right, Noe. <laughs> Next one. Nowadays. No negative things, guys, please. No, no more. <laughs> Nowadays, uh -huh. Nowadays, I spend uh, many times in the traffic jam. Okay, that's not real, though. <laughs> It's very real. Sir, <laughs> where is there traffic? Uh, Here in San Salvador is traffic everywhere at the rush hours. Between oh, but not right now. Between uh -huh. seven and between between seven and eight or nine in the morning. <laughs> really, even with the situation going on. No, actually, actually now with the, with the quarantine, I, I don't know if it's correct. Yes, quarantine. 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 And, no, but it's an exception. Ah, all right. Yeah, because nowadays is like nowadays, literally, like these days, near present. Uh-huh, so it's not applicable. 
But all right, okay. Uh, Jenny, next year, think fast. Next year, I'm going to Guatemala. Okay. My vacation, please. <laughs> please let me go to Guatemala. <laughs> <laughs> I hope everything is fine by then. All right, Roberto, next one. <laughs> In five years, I probably going to get married again. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> no, it doesn't advise it. He doesn't recommend it, so listen to him. <laughs> In five years, so you can say, Roberto, In five years, I'll get married again. Or, uh huh. Or I'll probably be married yeah, I'm again. I'm planning because I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to get married again. <laughs> In oh, 10 years, you. I might. Because might is not certain. It's only a possibility. So everybody tell me. In 10 years, I might what? I might travel <laughs> to Europe. <laughs> okay. Roberto. <laughs> In 10 years. I might try skydiving. In 10 years, don't wait too long. You only live once. <laughs> Jenny? I know, but it's so scary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jenny? In 30 years ago, I might buy a house. Ah, great. Whoa. In 10 Big years, dream. I might live in another country. I've lived in three so far, That's so we need to change another one. Go back to El Salvador. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Noe, I have something for you. Look. Yes. You're up on my head. Uh, there. Uh, a souvenir. <laughs> <laughs> You've been to Europe already. Okay. Um, I want us to do an activity, okay? Again, a quick one. What I want us to reinforce is something that might be a little bit hard sometimes, which is WH questions. Because the structure changes, right? For WH questions, we have past, future, present perfect, all of the tenses. And for example, let's do a WH question with the present simple form. Example, quickly, quickly, quickly. Remember, who, when, where, what, why. Present, what would you say? Where does Jenny live, for example? That's one, and it is correct. Is that clear? Yes. Okay, now what about in the future, guys? Question in the future with WH, but it has to be correctly structured. Uh -huh. Where, where a, a, where will you in the few in five years? Oh, you're missing something very important, the verb. Where will you be? Where will you be? Five years from Five now. Years. Very good. Okay, let's do one in the past. Come on, JC. Oh my gosh, JC is so <laughs> tired. Yeah. <laughs> I know it too. No, I kind of. But, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, all right. We can do it. We're halfway through the class already. Okay, past. Um, Why? Uh -huh. What's the auxiliary in the past, guys? Why? Was, did. Why did. Uh, did. Was is also applicable, JC. Why did what? Subject, subject. Uh huh. Why, why did our did neighbors did why did our neighbors and now we need a verb quickly move away sorry move away why did they move away okay 
Oh, they probably had security issues. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Okay, present perfect. How would you ask a question? Ooh. Where um, where have you been? Where have you been? Okay, what else? You can say, for example, mm. uh, what have you done today Stop. or these days? These days. So on. Okay, they all pretty much follow the same structure. But what I want you to do is to be, because you're intermediate, too, right? You should be able to improvise a little bit. Don't be afraid if you make mistakes, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to throw in a topic. For example, I'm gonna say fashion and you need to make a question in the present, future, or past. You need to make a WH question. If it is correct, grammatically correct, I'm gonna give you a point. If it's not, you lose that point. You have five seconds to make a question as a team, okay? So Noah is gonna go with Jenny and JC with Roberto, all right? Right. Okay. Robert right. and JC. And then we have Jenny and Noe. Ready? Just tell me the question. You don't need to write it, nothing. You only have five seconds, so think fast. Let me get the topics, hold on. I got them this morning, so I need to pull them out. Here it is. <clears throat> Ready? We're gonna practice first before it becomes real. All right. For example, the topic is sports. Real. Anything related to sports, as long as it is a WH question. Sports. Uh -huh. To what? Sports. So team one is gonna have five seconds. Roberto and JC, you have five seconds to make a question. One. Um, you say fork. Why, why don't you like tennis? Aha, uh -huh, that could be one. Sports. 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 Oh, sports. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay, so here is how it works. We're gonna practice. This is just a rehearsal, okay? For example, the topic is sports. JC and Roberto, five seconds, okay? Why you don't like sports? Yeah, that's incorrect. Anyway, so if you don't say anything, it's, I will say, number two. So you have a chance and you continue, all right? Okay. So we don't change topics until I say so. Okay. So if the five seconds, if I say five, you can say anything else and the other team has the opportunity and then you have the opportunity again and so on. Ready? Okay. 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 I try. Let's try it. We're going to be talking about um, friends right now. Jenny and Noe, five seconds. One. Uh, friend. Who are your best friend? Very good. Roberto and JC. One. What do you like about your friends? Yes. Jenny and Noe. One. Why don't you have friends? <laughs> Roberto and JC. One. Four. What do you hate about your friends? Yes, it is correct. Remember, it can be future, present, or past. Not only present, okay? Okay. No, and, and Jenny. Where do you go with your friend? Very good, okay. Roberto, JC. Three. What do you shop with your friends? Yes, no, hey. Where do you leave your friend? Oh, that's incorrect. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> You know why? Because it is where do your friends live? Like, like this. Look, Jenny. This is the important thing, guys, to learn. All right. So, where do your friends live? That's a structure. All right. So I will only write. Hold on. I'm gonna do that. I'm only gonna type when you lose a point. So 
So, so far you've lost one point. Okay, next, the topic, I'm gonna change the topic. Ready? JC and Roberto are gonna start. The topic is work. One, two. What kind of work do you do? Very good. Noe and Jenny. Where do you work? Good. Number one, uh-huh. Hello, how long do you, do you like to work? Sorry, JC. How long do you work? Very good. No, and Jenny. Uh, when do you work? Yes. JC and Roberto. Two. Three. Good. How long have you been working there? Yeah, perfect. That was perfect. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, and Jenny. Future, what, present. What, mm -hmm. what kind of What have you done in the work? Yes, that was good, Jenny. All right, it can be in the future too. JC and Roberto. Do you have some problems doing your work? <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was good, all right. We're gonna change topics. So if the five seconds are done, you lose the point, all right? They're over. Next topic is cooking or where i'm gonna say food all right food food yes no and jenny what Two. kind of food do you like very good jc and roberto one do you like chinese food yes oh but that's not a wh question yeah WH question. why uh, it's, it's not blah. a wh question it's a yes no <laughs> question do you why like, do you like it's wrong. <laughs> no, but it's not wrong. It's not wrong. Come on. It is correct. So let, I'm going to let it slip by. Uh huh. Number two. Two is Jenny and Roberto in, in Noe, okay? Two. Huh? Jenny and Noe. Jenny and Noe. This is your favorite restaurant. Okay, Roberto and JC. What kind of food you like to cook? Hmm, it can be future, past, anything. Noe, Jenny. Where do you will go to <laughs> eat? Okay, you lose one <laughs> point. <laughs> did you see what you, did you hear what you say, Noe? You said, where do you will? <laughs> <laughs> where do you will go <laughs> but that's okay it can happen and two more topics and we finish ready next topic is traveling Roberto JC where will you go next Summer. Great. Team <laughs> Jenny, Jenny, Noe. Ah. Why do you, why don't you, you travel last year? That's incorrect. Because it's in the past. So it would be, it would be like this. Why didn't why you didn't? travel last year? Okay, well, the winners tonight are oh. Roberto and JC. Applauses for them, please. <laughs> All right, so this, what do you will? It's not correct either, okay? <laughs> you will. What? No, what will you? Incorrect, what JC. Will you? I'm gonna put a. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the question is what will you? Because it's WH, auxiliary, subject, and verb. This is the basic structure of all the questions, all right? All the questions in all tenses. Don't forget. Okay, let's continue. We're gonna do an exercise, okay? Okay, 
this is exercise number one. JC. Before the automobile, people used to shop on a small store. Pollution is becoming a serious problem. Most people are going to work at home. Most people, people didn't travel as, as much from the city. They would be probably be city. People work more than for the hours. People pay the frequent doctor made the cool. <laughs> It's difficult. All right, we can do it all Before together. What do you think the answer is, guys? And also go to the platform so you can make progress. I think it is platform. people didn't travel as much from city to city. Yeah, there will probably be cities, cities in space. Mm, no, the thing people is that didn't travel as much before. from JC, it says before, so it has to be something in the past. People didn't travel as much from city to city. Eh, it could be. That could be the one. All right. It could be. Number two, Jenny. Before there were supermarkets, People used to shop at small stores. Yeah. The first one. first one. The first one. That makes more sense. Yes. Three. Five hundred years ago. People played their first game of golf people play the first game of golf okay that could work doctor me find a cool <laughs> oh those are those are the answers uh, I, what in most offices four, today like, number four they answers are all together uh -huh. Don't look at they, the answers. They're not separated. Actually, do number five, because number four, like, is all mixed up. Yeah. How do we answer this then? In most offices mm -hmm. today yeah, and in okay. many cities nowadays. So, in most offices today. Teacher did. Those answers are from, the, from number five. Ah, so they're here. Most offices no, today. Check. People do you see? Uh huh. This is number four. You see, at the, at the, yeah, that's number four. And all the answers are all together. And number five. Is this like the square that you see or the answer action? Yeah, this is I so I have to choose two two answers. People work and people played in many cities. I'm gonna try two answers because I don't know. But yeah, here is four and in five. Many, many in most offices and then in many cities. It, it's mixed. People work more than 40 hours in many cities nowadays. What's the answer for this one, Roberto? Do you have it? Because it could be either of the two. In many cities. Well, let me check. Yeah, the thing is that we have two in one. That's a problem. And it only takes yeah, one Yeah, I answer. have a problem with that because I okay. couldn't answer number four. Yeah, hold on. But Roberto, what I think is that it's either of the two. It's either this one or... Pollution. No, that's for number five. Or this one. Okay, let's say pollution is becoming a serious pro problem. All right. Number six. No, eh? 
Um, Doctor. People didn't travel as much to city to city. Mm -hmm. Soon yeah. is because it's the near future, so you have to find most, something in the future. Soon, soon most people are going to work at home. <laughs> Look at us. Yeah. <laughs> Already happening. This correct. Yep. Very soon. <laughs> it's already taking place. Okay, number seven. Jenny. In the next hundred years. In the next hundred years. Um, pollution is becoming a serious problem. And that's present, so this is future. It says in the next hundred years. Future. future. Mm -mm. Hundred years. You need to find something Doctors, in the future. My final cure for the common cold. Okay, that could work. For the, for the coronavirus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not even the common cold. Can you believe that? All right, number eight. JC. <coughs> Sometime in the future. Mm -hmm. The air will probably be sitting in space. Sometime in the future. Hey, those two. Let's see. Oh, we only have one incorrect answer. That's good. It is in space. Doctors. Number four. Most it's from me. number four. No, it is actually no. correct. So the answer to four is the answer for five. Okay. Pollution is becoming a actually serious in a plan in my platform. Then I have it separate them. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, Mm -hmm. Let me take a screenshot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So the problem here is that mine is mixed up. But there are no mistakes. Okay. I don't have any mistakes here. Okay. Uh, read the objective, please. JC. Lesson objective. In this class, you will be not notice and practice intonation in a statement beginning statement, with the, like this in statements in statements beginning with a time first also at the end of the class you will have time to and um, personalize phrases personalize. using personalized phrases using different tenses uh -huh. very good Let's Let's listen to intonation. <clears throat> Ready to work on pronunciation? Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. Pronunciation. Intonation in statements with time phrases. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice the intonation in these statements beginning with a time phrase. In the past, very few people used computers. Today, people use computers all the time. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. Can you now complete these statements with your own information? Read the statements to your teacher. As a child, I used... Part A. Listen and practice. That requires a comment. Okay, how do you read the first one, Jenny? In the past, very few people use computers. You need to use the music of English, <laughs> all right? So whenever you see a comma, guys, you, it needs to go up, all right? And when you see a period, it needs to go down. So if you make a list, for example, I like, um, I like bananas, apples, and oranges. Bananas, apple, and oranges, okay? So commas go up, periods, Go down. Go down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Thinking. So let's <laughs> read here. 
in the past, very the few past. people use computers. Very few people use computers. <coughs> yes, read it again, Jenny. In the past, very few people use computers. Yes, that sounds better. Okay, great. Next one, Noya. <coughs> Today, people use computers all the time. Today, people use computers all the time. Okay. Uh, three, Roberto. In the future, there will be a computer in every home. <clears throat> Great. And let's complete these. Yes. Can you now complete these statements with your ear? As a child. Here, as a child, we need a comma, okay? Imagine there is a comma. I'm going to write it, actually. There is a comma. <laughs> uh, a beautiful comma. A child. Perfect like me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, as a child, I, after a child, yes, Come I on. see what you're saying. You see, it's so perfect. After a child, between child and oh. I. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, hold on. Okay, this is gonna be the one. Child. Yes. All right, that's yes. a comma. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. And complete it with something real. All right, and no. No, yeah, no. As a child, I used to ride bicycle. As a child, I used to ride my bicycle. Yes. <laughs> Roberto. The first one or the second one? Second one. <laughs> second one. Two years ago. Two years ago. I came to El Salvador. Really? Yes, almost three years now. Okay, two years. Uh, two years ago, I came to El Salvador. And finally, JC. In five years, I traveling to USA. Five years. I'm travel. I'm going to travel, or I'm gonna travel to the U.S. I'm gonna travel. Okay, we're gonna and survive. Then... <laughs> <laughs> let's survive, and then let's travel. <laughs> All right, awesome. Any questions, guys? No. 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 All good. Well. I appreciate you being in class and I hope I get to see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. All right. Take care. Have a beautiful Everyone. night. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 You too. Bye-bye. Thank you.